Blessed day everyone. Welcome to Pinaylakas Radio Streaming here in city of Canoga Park. I'm totally excited because I'm doing our installation and landscaping for these two couple here today. And I'm going to show you the space that we need to fill up with the, with the plants, okay? Hold on. I have my crew starting to work right there now with my family. Nice space. Lots of weeds though. So we're gonna do a lot of stuff here right now. This is the plant that we brought already before. The space there. Space everywhere. My grandson is with us. That's Anthony. And where? This is most of the blood will go in this space right here. This is gonna be a nice spot right here to put something. Okay. It's a nice house. It's Ray's coming. MJ. My son Ma Michael. And Doc. Okay guys, we're gonna move now. So we can uh, do this in one day prog one day project only. I see you soon. What's for the second part? So blessed that I have my family here with me, including my grandson, Anthony, and Doc. Let's see what uh, they can do for these beautiful plants over here. We're planting the elephant bush or portulaca to give uh, good luck to this owner here, Tom and Eve or Eva. It's a good day. It's not raining. It's been raining for a couple of days and a week already. And today, I've been asking God and my son, Mark, to guide us not to rain so we can finish this landscaping for them. So right now, Anthony is actually finding a place where to settle this beautiful elephant bush. Actually, I already bonsai this and needs just to be trimmed. They have a beautiful soil. Actually, it's very dark soil. That's mean the soil is very rich. They, we found a couple of worms. That's mean that the soil is being vitamins by these creatures. Creatures. <laughs> creatures. <laughs> Okay, let's see now. The other people, uh, the other family is actually working on the other side while we're doing this. I hope Tom and Eve or Eva would like this uh, landscaping because we're so excited to do this for them. We don't have the rocks yet, so this is the part one. And hopefully, uh, in two months, once they settled, the plant is okay. We can put some rocks around it, different kind of uh, decorative rocks. And hopefully, we can get more uh, river rocks. Because river rocks is really good uh, to put in around it. We start coming, uh, leaving the house at 6 o'clock, actually. So it's kind of cold, but better than hot weather because the last time we did our landscaping to Victorville 
were the couple there, Lilia and David. It was sizzling hot and we couldn't breathe. So we only uh, cut our hours to an hour, then we stop and then do again. And uh, nighttime is good to work there. But this one, if you let me choose, I'd rather have to work this way as long as it's not gonna rain. Because may binat ako sa ulan, you know, pag muulan, nagkakasakit agad ako. This is a good beginning of the year, year 2023. And I'm praying that this year will be a better year for all of us. Health-wise, because I'm praying that the COVID or any kind of viruses around will be gone in the help and guidance of our Lord. This is the blue agave. It's really huge. Well, the size of this one is actually kind of like a medium, but the other medium that we have is a lot bigger, actually. Uh, the one in the house is actually about um, maybe 11 foot, right, Doc? Yes. So this is really cool uh, size right now. They will enjoy and watch uh, how they grow. Very healthy one. There's no root yet, but it's easy to reroot it, to grow the root. But since it's raining, I don't know uh, if this blue agave is sensitive. But in my own experience, actually, they are very hardy plant. This is another kind of agave. They kind of like a spade agave. They're very, very beautiful, but... All the agave, if you notice on the tip of them, there is a very sharp thorn and it could actually poison you or uh, give you an allergy because a uh, couple of times we have experienced doing this no matter how careful we are. We got pork and uh, it's kind of like have this kind of paralyzing effect, you know. There's a time actually that I get poked and it went all the way to my armpit. My son, veteran, Marines, Master Sergeant Michael Brian Billiamako is actually uh, helping us. Thank you, Mike, for taking your time to help us on your busy day. Actually, uh, it was funny because when I talk about volunteering he kind of make fun about it and it makes me laugh about it and it just is the first time i heard this word they call it voluntold Vol volum voluntold is that voluntold doc that he said instead of volunteer voluntold because he said that you told us to do it <laughs> so it's a voluntold <laughs> So that's that's where they're putting it right now. I love I love I love this uh soil over here. And I just noticed the weeds that growing actually is kind of fern. You know the fern plant. So when I go there next time I'm gonna go try to see if it's if the that plant over there actually grow a little bit already because uh, if it's a fern, wild fern, that's a good uh, plants to grow. But uh, it doesn't fit on the landscaping they want to do because the owner, Tom and Eva, want it to be a desert garden or rock garden. So if there is going to be this all over fern, you need to get water on it. You need to water them and it's not going to work for them. And if, if it's grow, they're like crazy, crazy growing all over. So we need to take that out. Maybe we can save some and put it in a bucket and put it somewhere else. There is my, this is my um, sensibaria or my snake plant, mother's, mother's tank. Or angel sword. This plant has so many, many names. But guess what? There are top 10 on the 
plant that you must have inside your house or anywhere in your house. But inside the house, it's very, very helpful because it secretes oxygen and give you good luck and actually protective in in the belief that I find out actually is protecting you for uh, negativity. So this is a good plan to put around your house. So these plants actually you can see it everywhere in a big buildings such as hospital, offices, hotels, and in your own home. We're actually putting some of the cabbage, since cabbage Echeveria. This is another uh, set of like Sensiberia because they have uh, different kinds of succulents in their growing. So I think we should put that on the other side. It's going to be really looking good if they have a big space for that because uh, the succulents will crawl and grow. So it will give you a nice homey feeling. Doc is so excited to do his uh, planting on the other side. And this is my son. Ray or June. Ray actually already uh, started early. I think um, the size of this one is a little bit too big. So we're going to clean up a little bit. And we put a little bit of soil back. And see what's going to happen when we put it again. I'm explaining to Ray that when you're planting, you have to measure the original pot and you have to dig a little bit deeper because you want to cover the original length of the neck of your plant. It's so easy to dig that soil actually because it's so soft. There's no rocks on it. That's a little bit more upper. A little bit more high. So we're going to decide to put a little bit more deeper get a little bit more salt to it because when you water them you want it to be a little bit more uh, have a space to water to go on the top of the of the plants Ray is gonna plant the fire stick or the rubber plant rubber is Parsnick. There's different kind of parsnick. The parsnick that I have is green one. But we have also the one that is actually orange on the tip. That's why they call it fire. It's so easy to work when you're working with lots of people, especially when it's your family. It's not only doing the job or work, you also do bond with your family it's a good sunny sunny sunday to bonding with your family especially this is the beginning of a new year 2023 family is life we're trying to measure the length of the plants where it's gonna go so it's going to be in the center. It 
It's very exciting. If you can notice, see how easy to dig the soil. I'm so glad that my grandson, Anthony, is actually excited to help out. Anthony is actually working for UCR. He goes to school to UCR and is working in the nursery. Michael, my son Michael, my veteran Marine Master Sergeant Michael is almost done with his first plant. And Doc, he was really uh, curious about it. He wanted to make it perfect. So he's doing the right thing actually when you're planting. You want your soil to be firm around the perimeter of your uh, plant. So that way it will move and the roots will be stable. Because if it's loose and you water them, it tend to sink down. Or if it's going to be windy, it's gonna move your plant. It's gonna sh uh, ship up. So by perming it, what he's doing, it secure the root of the plant. Wow, the soil is really soft. I hope the uh, owner have some budget to do the decorative rocks in here because it's going to really pop the plants. I can't wait for the owner to see this video. Doc is actually centering the plants that they uh, plant already because he noticed that it's not in the center. So they are redoing it. So it will be parallel. These two people here is my grandson. And the other one is his dad, my son, veteran marine sergeant, master sergeant, Mike Ho. They're working together side by side. Good job, dog. Wow. You know, and uh, my son, veteran Marine, Marine Sergeant Mark Stewart Guillemaco, a.k.a. Baggio, to those who know him and love him, he had a nice uh, backyard, actually, and his birthday is coming up this February 2nd. The same birthday with my mom, my beloved mom, Soledad Caballero Villamac. And I'm going to um, organize the gardening for his birthday, like we did two years ago, and dedicated for his birthday. So sad to think about it because he's not with us anymore. He's, he joined the Lord last December 27th, year 2020. And we actually believe that this is the best year for him. They call it the land room year. It doesn't happen ordinarily. It will happen 
hundreds of hundreds of years before you reach that year and he, we all thought that it's going to be a good luck for everybody especially especially for him but God has a plan for him Actually, this kind of uh, style of videotaping is actually really, actually fun to do because I can watch it. My hard working family. Can you believe that? This is not ordinary gardener. These are our professional people that are on their ordinary day. They are not a gardener, actually. They are gardener in our own home, but this is actually something that we just plan to do as a family today to welcome year 2023 and do something good to our new friend Tom and Eva I hope they appreciate it and uh, just in case because of the weather is not really as expected to be sunny it's been raining all the time that some of the plants might go into uh, get shook up so if something happened to it we have spare plants that we can share with them and i really want to give them extra plant anyway uh i want to put something special in the front like what i did in my front one i'm gonna do put a clay pot it's like a running water Some of the plants that we brought actually get wither. Nalanta sila because of the cold weather. And the wind is blowing hard also. So uh, the succulent is actually very fragile one. They can actually lanta. Antinatawag. You know, uh, the thing that I appreciate with my family is that they just don't want to just dump the the plant there. They're actually trying to see if the plant will survive. That's why uh, Doc is actually keep on measuring the soil, get, keep measuring the dip of deepness of the hole. She keep he keep on adding the soils until. The plant will settle the right way because you don't want to do that. It could, it could, it could cause a root rot. They call it root rot if you don't do that. Isn't that amazing? Doc, the cabbage one that you planted, um, it will be nice if we put rocks, the river rocks around it so, so the leaves won't touch the soil because it could uh, rot in the leaves because it's raining. But once it bounced back and the roots started, it ca actually will stand up by itself. Like, it's like... <laughs> That's my dog, Ginger. Ginger woke up.
Anthony is baby babying his soil over there. <laughs> One down. Good job, Mike. Love that plant. Once it grow, my goodness, you're gonna love this if you if you see this grow. Their their majesty. Actually, if we put the decorative uh, rocks around the plants that we planted, about 12 inches around it, uh, the green ones over there, the, it could stay actually, you know, it will look good like it's uh, healthy. Did you notice that, Doc? The what? Look at this. Uh, the, green, the green one over here around the the ground area the garden they have the green one around it as long as you put like a 12 inches decorate decoration rock over there from the where we dig and put the plants you put you uh, you get the space of 12 inches and put the white rocks or they call it golden rocks or lava rocks actually the green ones can stay you know I don't think this is the kind of uh, ground cover that will actually invade as long as there is uh, rocks or, uh, rocks that protecting the, the plants. They will look good actually. They, go, they look rich. But the thing about this one, if you, you put lava rocks or golden rocks or white rocks we need to put plastic you know what i mean right before putting the rocks you need to put plastic around it so it the 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 weeds or the other plants the ground cover won't grow to the rocks you know what i mean yes Talk about the soil there. It's so funny too because uh, some people doesn't know how to distinguish the plants, the real plants versus the weeds. The owner actually was so excited with the green ones that growing, but he doesn't actually know it was a weeds that can uh, harm the plants. So there are some other uh, seeds that grows there, like a good kind of plants, like ground cover, but there's a lot of weeds that go with it, with it because the weeds easily get multiply especially when it's raining like this if you don't pull your weeds when they have flowers and the flowers will will be will dry it can spread out the seeds everywhere love it i love that ray it's really nice 
This is the blue agave. Thank you, Ray and Anthony. With a little bit of dressed it up with with big rocks, that this blue agave will pop. We can probably get some around the street near the vacant lot. We can bring a couple of them so we can surprise them when we trade in some of the plants that uh, we planted, especially the one that you planted around the round thing. That's a beautiful way you put it that way, but it's a little bit too small for that for the for the loan. So we have a lot of that kind of uh, plants. The cabbage one, Ichiberia cabbage. We can give them the bigger one. You know they give us uh, extra money anyway. So let's make them happy. You know. If uh, they want to buy some of the, which which do you suggest? A combination of lava rocks and golden rocks, ni? Like what we did to ours, that will pop nicely, no? Yeah, this is gonna be good. So this is the rocks that we're going to put in the agave to make the pop it, to enhance the agave, you know. This is good, really cool. Look what happened. Watch out, guys. With a small rock like that, I wish I have a little bit more bigger. Pada or tada. Look at that. How beautiful it is. Really, really nice. Just one piece. Can you imagine if we have big one? Big one. Uh, this is the project that uh, you can say that it's going to be your your um, pride and joy to show up to, to the owner. Actually, we got, actually, uh, the next door neighbor is asking. So the next time we go there, we need to tell them that it's a different pricing name because what if uh, Tom tell them how much they pay, but that's actually ITEX, you know? So if they want to buy some plants, they can actually buy a little bit cheaper from us, right? Right, our cash is... Mm -hmm. Look at how beautiful this elephant Alo. Okay, guys, did you see that? That is actually a little bit bigger alo there, and that's only a baby by itself because this one can grow up to three feet, okay, or bigger if you have a nice um, soil. And the more you have a bigger place, the more it gets bigger because the one I have in my backyard is three feet already. So do you see how beautiful it is? They call it elephant aloe. Hi Tom, how are you? You see all your stuff already getting uh getting to the shape. It's shaping up your your garden, Tom. We're gonna go take you to the other part of the side of your garden so you can see. It's, it's a very exciting uh, day for everyone working together. Just looking at my family working together makes me happy. I don't have my glasses with me. Let me see if I can uh, see this one.
Can you stay here? Because I still don't understand the timing on this one. Well, actually, we I can uh, just... Oh my God, this is so cool. Looking at this garden now, actually, it makes you happy already, and it's not even finished yet. I hope the weather will be good. So, we're gonna have to uh, actually. Uh, do the other part on the other side in a couple of minutes here so we can uh, show the owner the other side because this is only in the front and on the side but the other side of the garden actually we didn't show it to you so we're gonna go bring you there so you can see how beautiful Anthony's creation and Doc's creation and my creation and Bray's creation. Doc's pride is there also. It's so cool. So guys, let's go get ready and uh, surprise you with the second uh, part of the landscaping on the other side because there is a beautiful plant there that uh, Anthony and Doc made and also Michael and Ray. Come on down and walk with me to this paradise garden of Tom and Eva. Come on. Let's go. There we go. Welcome to Pinay Lekan Stage Streaming. This is our last portion of our YouTube doing the landscaping for Tom. Look at Tom, my handsome friend. <laughs> Tom, it's so pleasant and happy to to have this done for you you are good person the, the moment i saw you at the itex yeah. i knew you're gonna love my plan i do like it mm -hmm. it's beautiful yeah it's nice to give it to somebody that really appreciates the nature you know like we hold that care about giving things you know yeah, you, and, you, like you and your wife it's so wonderful to us thank you so much guys so look at look at the thing we're not done yet, okay? I will have you uh, clean up a little bit more and do some of this stuff and leave it to the proper place, okay? okay? So you can keep this place tight. And I want to thank my crew, my team, Team Michael, <laughs> and Ray, <laughs> all the hard work. Where are they doing one hiding there, oh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, go there, me. That's them. <laughs> I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Look at look, this is the existing agave. They are actually a, a, a very good kind of plants. I'm not really sure if this agave is the one that grow it room of death. Because the agave that have this kind of spine is actually dead. They shoot up 
later on and then when the blue comes they will die so i suggest to tom if he notice something that is blooming here to cut it so they won't die yeah uh, so it because it, it takes a little bit longer to grow then but once they grow then they start to have a baby and you don't want to have that the seed becomes another plant but it will die okay be careful now you Canoga Park. Canoga Park, and uh, I'm gonna put the information where to get to get in touch with Tom if you are interested to rent this place when you are when he is ready yeah. to be for renting. Okay, I can promote yeah. okay. you. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. They have a Tom. You see that? You just come here. I show you. Uh -huh. It will break the foundation, no? Yeah, it gets very uh, yeah, it looks, root rooted. It looks good right now, but when, when it gets bigger, it's going to knock this and your, and your uh, cement. Yeah. yeah, and also the pipe. You know, they have a problem with that, so we have to take it out. Because this one is good to put on the, on the, uh, on the they, wall. They started yes, out yes, 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 yes. They're kind of scabbing here, you know? Sure. They hard to kill, so you need to kill it once it's smaller. Because they say, oh man, it's big, you can have to pay $500 to kill it. Wow. The, uh, gardener won't touch it if you don't pay them big money to get that. Get it off. Mm -hmm. So that, there's a big marker, look at this one. Uh, yes, please take it out before it's too late. And let's go to the other side. Oh, this is nice. I like it. I love this plant. Yeah. Very, very nice. Look at how the beautiful the flowers. Huh? Yeah. With the flowers, me. Yeah, we had one of those before. Yeah. All uh, up. You That's see? The only oh my so God, Tom! You see this? You have to watch out because the uh, you see it's growing. The seed. Yeah. You need to take that out. From here. Yes. Look, me oh. Where the palm seeds are growing. Oh yes! Oh well, yeah, all this. Yeah, I it was... it, it, it's gonna kill your your house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just tons of them. It's hard to get that. There is an interesting uh, plant. Plant that I, you have a lot of. You have a lot of uh, fence white in here because you have money tree, different kind of money tree. And different kind of aloe vera. You see this kind of aloe vera is different. They call it curly aloe vera from Africa. And you have this, uh, they call this dentist. Aloe mm -hmm. They're different. And this kind of aloe vera, they call, they call it um, elephant an elephant bush and that one is actually flapjack from Australia okay so right here look at look at what Anthony made for you Michael made that for you Richard made that for, the doctor made that for you <laughs> 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 Look at this, how interesting is that? 
<laughs> it's kind of one I rock at a time, put them down there. Yeah, you have the starlata over there. I hope because it may starlata. Yeah, they have a big, huge, like this flower, but it's star. They like a star. That one. Remember that dog? Uh -huh. They have a star. Now we have a couple of uh, we have a couple of agave, the blue agave here. They make it like tequila. So right now the leaves are all over because they're trying to dry. But once it gets stable, they get shoot up really good, nice uh, straight line. So um, there's going to be a couple of stuff here. When we start cleaning up, I'll give you some more. Okay. So guys, the amazing thing. The amazing thing that happened today is unity, the teamwork, okay? I could not do this by myself without the help of my family, starting with Dr. G, with Ray, my oldest son, Ray, and of course, my veteran Marine, um, Master Sergeant Michael Bryan Ho, who took time on his busy day, and he, uh, he actually just came back from uh, being sick and now he's helping us today and he really loves to do this he was telling me that he want to be part of this one and also my grandson uh anthony he had a test tomorrow but he still want to come and also angel started to go back to work so this is up um like i said it's a teamwork teamwork and it's also easy to do it because the owner of this place is actually a good person that is easy to work with. So when you have somebody that easy to work with, it makes your job more faster because it's supposed to be uh, taking a couple of days to work. But since we have a lot of people working and uh, it's easy to, to work because they, they listen. It's a teamwork when you listen to the person what they want to do and then they can touch up their creativity. Later on, we're gonna start uh, cleaning up in a couple of months. So little by little, we're gonna do that. So right now, I just wanna thank everybody that helped me out, including the owner, Tom. Okay, signing out here in City of... Canoga Park. Canoga Park with Dr. G, the one who's videotaping this for me. Pinoy and... Lacas. La 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 cas. Pinoy la cas. La 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 cas. And remember. Pinoy la cas. La 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 cas. Bag you for all, forever. Always remember be human, be kind, be humble all the time. God loves you and spread that love to others. Bye for now. Goodbye.